From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night on LA Late as the stock market crashes dramatically down 1,000 points. It was down 650 points on Monday, 1,000 points on Friday, 200 points on Tuesday. Why was it? Jay Powell. We'll go over the latest details across the board and the latest you need to know. Major companies reporting earnings today, this week, this month, and their misses continue to grow. And now their downward guidance continues. We'll go over what you need to know tonight on a big evening's LA. Meantime, the excitement. 12 new stimulus checks, categories of checks, becoming law. And we're going to go over the 12 categories of checks that pay you 100 to 200 checks. My goodness, the excitement no one saw coming and the excitement that's paying viewers. We'll go over the latest details tonight across the board. Is unemployment improving or is it not improving? The jobless claims released this week. Not the same situation as the unemployment rate. But yet the White House tells you it's not a recession. We'll go over the latest details across the board. The big raise of your benefits. Huge numbers. Huge numbers. The biggest we've seen of a generation. And this is lifetime stimulus. What do we learn about that number on Friday? The personal consumption expenditure index. We'll go over the latest details tonight on a big broadcast of August 27th, 2022. The housing data, bad, continue to be bad. Housing recession confirms the National Association of Home Builders, what you need to know and why it impacts your money. Then also the excitement of those stimulus items. We started with three checks, A, B, and C, that pay you $100,000. Then we got E to K that adds more money and L to M that is over $1,000 alone with L and M. Could more money be coming this week? You need to become a member. Herbal Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. And we'll go over those big sums of checks that viewers are getting huge, exciting sums of money. I'm excited. No one would have seen anything like this. 12 categories of checks paying you hundreds to 200s of checks. We're going to go over the excitement that viewers are getting. And the excitement that could be happening to you as well. It's a big night. It's a big day. It's a big month. Big checks still paying out. Even this day, let's go over all the incredible news from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big evening. It's a big week. And it all starts right here, right now on Evenings Out Light. Good evening, everybody. Who knew that lifetime stimulus that started this week would end the week with the addition of 12 categories of checks that fields 100 to 200 checks? My goodness, we'll go over the latest details in this big blockbuster of our recording tonight. More companies reporting earnings and also giving you guidance for the rest of this year. And it's all generally not good. We'll go over the latest details across the board in tonight's recording. The White House saying that the labor number is the best of a generation, and that is why we're not a recession. I'll analyze those comments, whether they're accurate or not. Then the raise of your benefits lifetime. This is lifetime stimulus, approximately $5,000. We'll go over the huge numbers in tonight's recording. Then the housing industry, clearly the worst part of the economy, and it's just the start. More industries across the board will be falling apart, and we'll go over everything you need to know. The big money, the big industries, the big news, and the big comments from Jay Powell. It's a big broadcast. Your benefit raise your housing market, your unemployment, your forced stimulus. The breaking news starts right here, right now, on a big night of Eden's LA. How are you? Good evening. Great to have you with me on a weekend edition of Evening's LA. We're going to start, of course, with those comments from Jay Powell. I think they're singly explain what's going on with this economy, but we have to bring it back a notch to understand what's going on. Jay Powell is the head of the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve has a dual mandate. One, reduce any inflation if it happens, and two, maximum employment. 
But over the last few months, the Federal Reserve has tried to get inflation down. It has not worked. Let's take it back even further. Last year, in spring of 2021, yours truly was the only broadcast to say inflation is going to hit in December 2021 and be 8%. And be persistent and consistent. And the Federal Reserve is not going to get it down. The Federal Reserve at the time got it wrong. When they said it was going to be temporary, it was not. Transitory, it was not. Then that was going to be 2%. It was not. We started this year with 8% inflation. The Federal Reserve has had interest rate spikes to bring inflation down month after month, and it has not worked. And in the month of June, they had 75 basis points, very high. It did not work. The month of July, 75 basis points, it did not work. And tonight, we have an inflationary rate of about 8.5%. Has it worked? It's brought it down from the headline number about half a percentage point, and the core number is still very hot. So over the last three weeks, the Federal Reserve governors have appeared on broadcast news, and they basically said what they're going to be doing when they return in September. Do you bet against the Federal Reserve governors? You do not, because they historically want to give you guidance of what they're doing before they do it, because they do not want to shock the markets. So when Jay Powell was set to speak in Jackson Hall, you and I knew what he was going to say because the Fed governors have given us guidance. A week ago today, I said the following. I'm deeply concerned for you. I'm deeply concerned for this economy. Why? Because the stock market had not embedded the risk of more interest rate spikes starting in September at exactly following what those Fed governors had said on broadcast media. The Fed governors had said we're seeing with interest rate spikes indefinitely until we get inflation down, consistent and pervasive, at a 2% target. So they got to reduce it from 86 to 2% and stay there for a few months. How obvious is that? It's very obvious. What did Wall Street say? Uh, we can ignore that. <laughs> ignore that. It's sort of like, what, like when Mitch walks into the Senate ballroom wearing a lobster shorts. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> We're just going to ignore that. It's sort of when Lancey walks in where there's, wearing that San Francisco hairstyle. We're going to ignore that. <laughs> it's sort of when someone tries to charge you $12 ice cream. I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to leave right away <laughs> and buy ice cream somewhere else. And when the check does not wave back at you at the beach, I'm going to ignore you, Mr. Check. <laughs> so what happened? I said the fact that they're not embedding the risks into the markets of pervasive inflationary, pervasive interest rate spikes is going to cause a stock market crash. And you do not want a stock market crash because it hurts your consumer confidence. It hurts your wallet because everyone's worried about the economy. It hurts you, with whether you're employed or seniors, whether you're on SSI or SSDI. You don't want a stock market crash. And what happened? On Monday, a stock market crash. On Friday, an even bigger stock market crash. Because Wall Street realized they were betting against the Federal Reserve. On Monday, the stock was down, the stock market, the Dow Jones was down 450 points, ouch. Tuesday, 150 points, ouch. Friday, 1,000 points, ouch. They finally realized they had not embedded the risk of those interest rate spikes into the market. And that 1,000 point crash crash happened on Friday when Jay Powell spoke and said exactly what his Fed governors had said over the last two weeks. You don't bet against the Fed governors. It's sort of betting like betting against me. <laughs> You're going to lose. You're going to lose. And what Jay Powell said was basically what they had said. Ouch. You also don't bet against something else. You don't bet against inflation, which has not gone down. And this is a big risk raise of your benefits. You don't bet against forced stimulus checks because those forced stimulus checks are paying out. Viewers have got to them. And we're going to go over both of those subject matters in just a minute. You also don't bet against becoming a member because when you become a member, you get all this big money. You get all these big stimulus checks. And you understand the raise of your benefits, which we can go over in just a second. When j Powell appeared at Jackson Hole on Friday, he said exactly what you knew what I was going to say. He needs to get inflation to its target of 2%. We knew that. He needs to get inflation consistently at 2%. We knew that. He said we're going to continue to have interest rate spikes until we get inflation to 2%. We knew he was going to say that. And while she said, oh, my goodness, I'm shocked. Oh, come on. Don't give me that fake look like you're on a reality TV show or a soap opera. I'm shocked. Was it your child? I thought you were dead. You came back from the grave. <laughs> you know that fake look that you do on soap operas. And that's what Wall Street did, a fake look, and they crashed the markets 1,000 points. You love those fake looks they have on the soap opera. It was you. I thought it was you. <laughs> 
and that's what they did. They just crashed the market once thousand points. It's not a good look. It's not a good situation. And Jay Powell's comments, I, I ran them on front. I ran them yesterday. I think I don't think we have to really run them again. He basically said all that. One thing he did not say, did not say, is what Michelle Bowman, one of the Fed governors, said all last week, and and basically Daly and and Boulard, the other Fed governor, said as well. 75 basis points. And that's really important because they did that in June and July. They're likely to stay with that. And Wall Street was betting against that as well. You don't bet against me. I've been saying the Fed governors will do 75 basis points from September all the way to December. It's very important because when Wall Street says one interest rate spike and we're doing done on September, it's wrong. And when they say 50 basis point indefinitely, uh, you know, maybe one more month and we're done, it's very wrong. The other thing that's very important to look at is inflation, because inflation gauges how much your benefits go up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Real Benefits. And I told you there was a great benchmark coming out. I just didn't realize it was coming out Friday. <laughs> I was just not prepared for it. And that inflationary benchmark was not the next CPI. It was the number in between. We had talked about this. The Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, I love the number, because it comes in between the CPI, which tells you how much your benefit's going up. And what was that Personal Consumption Expenditure Index? I know that's a mouthful. It's like I'm having too much lobster sauce in your mouth at the same time. <laughs> the number was flat. I like flat, except when it's a hairstyle. <laughs> it was flat. It was basically flat compared to the month before. That's consistent with what we've seen. The retail sales number last week, flat. The PPI, flat. The CPI headline number, basically flat. So there you go. We're in the middle of the month until we get the next CPI, and the next CPI may be flat because this is a good indicator of where we're going. Flat works for us because flat still gives you the biggest benefits lift of a generation. Let's jump into the benefit lifts right now. We'll go over the calculations, how, why, and how this works across the board starting right now. Your benefits are going up. The largest of a generation, yes, this is what we call lifetime stimulus. This is lifetime stimulus um, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Here's an example. Let's say your benefits go up 11% this year. That's lifetime because once your benefits go up, they never go down. If next year your benefits get a 2% raise, then that you're going to get 2% on top of 11%. Wow, that's incredible. Great news. So now let's go over what's at issue. First, your benefits definitely going up. Definitely going up because inflation is too hot. And that is for you. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail Benefits, multiple benefits, about to go on benefits, how much? Some of you 5,000, some of you more, some of you less. And we'll go over how much your benefits are going to go up in just a second. But first, I want to go over at issue why. Inflation. Let's understand why this is happening. Back on July 13th, the CPI beat. Then the day after the PPI beat, the day after the retail sales beat. This is big numbers. And we need to see the numbers last week. I'll go over those numbers in a second. We need to see the numbers for this month and the month thereafter. What's at issue? Let's go over the details starting right now. Back in the month of May, the Consumer Price Index number, which is gauging how much you pay for products at the supermarket, CPI, Consumer Price Index, was released, and that number was really too hot. In fact, it was the highest of a generation. The May CPI was out of control, and then the June after that was out of control, so we waited for that July number last week. Let's recap what the numbers were. The May number, 8.6%. The June number, a whopping 9.1%. And then the July number released last week, 85 basically flat. And then when we look at the component parts, higher across the board. If with those numbers so hot and so high, your benefits are going up. So let's go back to your benefits right now. Your benefits are going up. Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail, automatic, lifetime, and it's you if you're on SSI and SSDI. Some of you 5,000, some of you less, some of you more. Everyone gets the same percentage raise. And yes, it's dependent upon three months of data. Do we have to live out the three months of data? And why was Friday's data so important? We really don't have to live, live out the three months of data if we can see it in the stores. 
Last week, the CPI was released, but the component parts were higher. The components parts were milk and eggs, consumer products, what you buy in the stores. Then we also had another component parts like salaries, flat or higher. And then rent, flat or higher. Incredible. Why was gasoline down? Because gasoline was lower in the month of July. Is it higher this month? It is higher. If you're in the membership newsletter nightly, you've seen a track from about 92 last week to now 100, 102, 104. The domestic unleaded you pay at the pump has gone down, but the headline number is really international price of Brent crude. So that number was reflected in the personal consumption expenditure index released on Friday, which of course is not this month, it's the prior month, flat. We need to see this month on September 10th, September's number on October 10th. But the way you and I see it before it's announced is actually live it. You can go in the store and watch the eggs, gone down or gone up, jump in the live chat. The gasoline, gone down or gone up, jump in the live chat. The rent, gone down or gone up, or the salaries. I've basically seen everything flat. I've seen everything flat with, of course, the exception of the unleaded domestic at the pump, not the Brent crude, that is up. So if everything's flat, that's great news for your benefits. Let's go over why. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, cost of living adjustment. That number is determined by another number, the piece, the CPI-W, yes, for three months, July, August, and September. We got the July number last week. And if that number remains flat for two more months, wow, incredible, great news. Remember, everyone gets the same lift across the board. This is lifetime stimulus. Let's go over the calculation and let's go over the predictions. The calculation comes in from the Seniors League, a nonprofit organization. When they looked at the number for last week, that CPI print of 8.5%, they said I'm, if that stays the same for two more months, they're predicting a 10.1% raise of your benefits. Do you agree or do you disagree? I disagree. I disagree because even based upon that last week's number, the component parts were going up month to month. So unless there's indication they're going down month to month, I disagree. I think the number could be a little bit higher than 10.1%. Is there any indication that the component parts this month are going down? No, not yet. So I think 10.1 is a little bit conservative. I think it's going up a little bit more. Ultimately, the, cons the personal consumption expenditure index released on Friday was a flat number. So a flat number signals that basically what we saw the month before is still the same case. I think it's a little bit more. Ultimately, you and I will watch these numbers in the next few weeks, and certainly at the supermarket and at the pump and the and at the landlord's uh, re-sign of those leases. Now, the other major story that heated up on Friday was, of course, those corporate earnings. Those corporate earnings continue to lag. Why is this important? Because this impacts your wallet. If companies are lagging on those corporate earnings, then they may lay you off or lay, out your, lay off your son or daughter. And these numbers are hideously important because as more layoffs come, then the economy starts to crumble slowly. Over the last few weeks, we've seen those corporate earnings for second quarter 2021, 2022, released by corporations and seen downward guidance for the rest of this year. What do we see on Friday? Do we see anything really different? No, actually, we did not. It's much the same thing. We had Gap actually up 6% when they beat on profits higher than expected. We had a firm fall 13.5% when they missed. We had Segan miss uh, with a 10.1%. We had actually Segan down 10.9%. Everbridge missing uh, and then potential sale 14.3%. Then we had um, then we had the excitement of Farfetch surging 4.5%. We had Workday up 11.5%. And we had Ultra Beauty, which you never bet against, um, for, for the incredible um, beauty product. You don't want to bet against Ultra Beauty because ultimately what's at issue is always there. Ultimately, what's important to understand is that these big sums of money are there. And ultimately, what's important to understand is that the companies are missing. 
the companies are missing left and right. And if the companies are missing left and right, it's big trouble across the board. Target was an example this last week after they tower guided for the month of uh, May. And then the downward graded in downward guided in the month of June and downward guided in the month of July. Guess what happened when Target reported earnings? They missed on their downward guidance. Ouch. Across the board. Unemployment, did it surge or did unemployment drop? Unemployment was basically flat this week, hovering about a 143, 145, 150. I basically consider that a flat number. When you compare week to week, yeah, it was up a little bit, but it was basically flat. Let's understand that's a bad number for unemployment. It's not a good number across the board. Now, the big exciting details was this week, you got two more stimulus checks. Yes, two more stimulus checks. My goodness, it's incredible. L and M. We have gone all the way through the alphabet practically, or at least halfway there, A to M. We're now at 12 categories of checks, which is over 100 checks, and we're going to go over all those checks one at a time in the big second half. But first, let's understand the money at issue is just huge. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and get those big stimulus checks in the big second half, you want to get these big sums of money across the board. It's for you. Go under this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And one of the great benefits of becoming a member is the membership newsletter. Another benefits is the worksheets. Let's go over those incredible worksheets starting right now. Those membership newsletters delivered from Monday through Friday around the third line. Around the third line is the worksheets. And here they are. What did we learn to put into our worksheets this week? The worksheets are a series of pages, a PDF you can print from yourself on your computer. Again, they're in the newsletter around the third line. Inflation, what did we learn this week? That the personal consumption expenditure index released on Friday was flat. That's very important because that's consistent with the retail sales, the CPI and the PPI, basically flat, uh, sort of like a bad Here's so recession. We got the housing data this week. Let me see if I can jump to that really badly. Homes prices fell, biggest declines in 2011. Housing in a recession, says the National Association of Home Builders. And the housing shocker when the cancellation rate surged out of control and existing homes fell um, dramatically, the biggest drop since 2015. This is all bad data. Housing recession is fully, fully underway. The rest of the economy in a recession as well. Two negative quarters of GDP growth, growth has been posted. Labor, we just went over that basically fat. And the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve is saying they're staying with those interest rate spikes until they get inflation down to their target 2%. When you have an interest rate spike in one month, how much does the in inflation move? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Federal Reserve has had an interest rate spike every single month for eight months. And over eight months, how, did they get, how much do they get moved? A half a percentage point. Not a percentage, not 1%, half of 1% in eight spikes. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be doing this for a while. <laughs> We'll be doing this for a while. I'm projecting the Federal Reserve is going to do 75 basis point all the way through December. I'm not saying they're stopping there. I'm just saying at least through December, Wall Street's bending against me and bending against the Federal Reserve. Um, yeah. Uh, good luck on that one. The next page is the wonderful table. Table about four stimulus. Let's recap. Check A is the weatherizing grant. It's a category of checks, but it's really just one check. Check B is the great category. It's upwards of 80 to 100 checks. Check C is rent, utilities, mortgage assistance is 80 to 100 checks. Check E through K are all one category and one check. Check L is one category and one check. Check M is one category, but lots of checks. So look at that. That is 200 checks right there. Do I have 200 rows in this page? I don't. When I read this, when I made this, worksheets in March. We only had three checks. Now we have gone from three checks to nearly 200 checks. See how I'm working for you? See how I love you? And see how much you got for you going in as a member? Uh, I, I suggest you print out multiple copies of this page or just mirror it on a separate piece of paper, multiple pages, because it only has about 20 rows. You got 200 checks to go get. Incredible. Spelling got check A and C. A viewer last a viewer ago a week ago today got 14 months of rent. The day before that, another viewer got 14 months of rent. A day before that, a viewer got 12 months of utilities. 
And then that one view out of Florida applied for Check B. She forgot she had. And they said, ma'am, you've been approved for Check B. Incredible. Incredible. For what mortgage? Oh, my goodness. One month? No, 18 months. 18 months of mortgage? Folks, that's a lot of money. That's a sack of cash. But she also applied for her utilities. Her utilities? That's five checks a month for 18 months. That is 80 to 100 checks. And she is not alone. You deserve this big sums of money. Become a member today and get these incredible checks. Stay a member because a week ago, a week ago, yes, a week ago, members had check A to C. Now viewer, members have check A to M. That's a lot more checks in one week. I'm fighting for you for every check I can find. This stimulus, your benefits are going up a lot. Run the numbers, put them in the t next page of that worksheets for, for your benefit raises. Run the 10.1% for the Seniors League by times in your benefits times point by 1.10. Run another number, see how it works. Gasoline prices, they're going to go up in my projections. They have. International price of Brent crude. The domestic unleaded, they have to go up because they track the international price of Brent crude. And student loan deprecators, of course, the president making that story a finality this week. We knew it was happening. Watch the earlier videos because that story is getting phased out on this channel. In the big second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. Check A to M. We're going to go through all 12 categories of checks in the big second half. It's huge. It's absolutely incredible. You deserve these big sums of money. Before we get to those checks in the big second half, I want to go over uh, one more part of Jay Powell's comments. First, he said... It's very important to do this, otherwise inflation becomes entrenched. What does that mean? What is entrenched inflation? It basically means that you used to pay $2 for a gallon of milk, for example. Now it's $4. And you'll just get used to paying $4. And you'll never presume that $2 is coming back. You'll presume that $4 is the new normal. He says, i got to wipe that away. Why does he need to wipe that away? Because you cannot afford $4 a gallon. Your salaries have not gone up in comparison to inflation. Some of you are retired, so you don't have salaries. Your benefits will not go up fast enough. And he says you cannot, and you cannot have people's psyche mindset change because if their mindset changes, it's a big problem. It absolutely is. So he has this wheelie on point. In the big second half, we're going to go over all those incredible checks. Become a member. Go right in this video. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. You deserve these big checks. I want you to get them. And in the big second half, we'll go over all of them from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Check A through C. Then we'll go over the incredible checks that became law a week ago today. E through K. And then the new ones at the end of the lot this week. L through N M. Oh, boy, we got a big recording tonight. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as Evening's Ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues. A big, 
second half are gorgeous. August 27th, 2022. I told you there's a lot of breaking news this weekend, and that's why you got to stay with me. We're going to go over more about this breaking news in the big second half. Of course, we'll be going over these now 12 categories of checks. My goodness, so exciting across the board. We'll go over a little bit about this recession versus no recession debate and what you need to know. Then I have a commentary about your stimulus and a commentary about the excitement that you're bringing to the channel. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and then we're going to go over all these incredible checks starting right now. Your money and the breaking news heats up. Economy, recession, unemployment, inflation, benefit raise, the housing market, your four stimulus. More about that all heats up starting right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Oh, hey, good evening. How are you? I'm so excited for you back across the board. The President of the United States in the month of March passed three checks by executive action. Great timing. Because at the time, viewers said, can you find me some checks? And I did. Three checks, which amounts to $100,000. Check A, check B, and check C. We're going to go over all those incredible checks. Then, a week ago today, Congress packs check E through K. Huge sums of money. And then this week, we found checks L and M. Lots of money. Let's remember that the first three checks all are from the federal government. The next seven checks all from the federal government. And the last two checks are generally dependent upon the states, but they're huge across the board. So A through K are all from the federal government. It's federal stimulus paid by the federal government. It's not coming from your state. The state doesn't pay a penny of it. It has nothing to do with the situation. That's why you want to become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, you know, VIP. Let's go over all these incredible checks, starting right now with checks A, B, and C. Check A is a huge $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. It's huge. It's absolutely wonderful. Spelling got it, and it's just a lot of money. How do you get check A? You know the routine. Go into this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP member. Get the membership dues. Letter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for you, the YouTube alerts, and get those big sums of money. Go down the membership newsletter, you find check A, click the link, and go in and apply. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. And guess what? Same qualifications for check B. Wow. This is the check that the viewer out of Florida got. fifteen dollars to $80,000, a forced almost check in every U.S. state. How do you get check B? Same routine. Go under this video, subscribe. Go under the video, join the channel. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding dramatically, with now three channels part of this broadcasting family. The website that started all nearly 20 years ago. The live shows on all three channels, live on this channel, one, live on two, live on three, and new shows launching next week, new series across the board. Go down to your C, check B, click the link, and go right and apply. You're then going to go get check C for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, go get it across the board. How do you get it? You become a member, and then go down to C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. C has nearly 12 places to reach out to, so you're going to reach out to all 12 places. You're going to have about a 50% rejection rate, so don't reach out to one and call it a day. Yeah, you got to put the effort with a capital E in there to get those incredible checks. And the effort has been on this channel. Viewers have been getting this check, C since 2020. It predates second stimulus. It predates third stimulus. Let's look at some of the success stories. Wow, look at that. From twenty dollars to $30,000 for check, C, incredible for rent. Go get it for check, C. Look at this for utilities. My goodness. And Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. His same brother-in-law got a quarter million dollars over 10 years for SNAP. Look at the combinations of checks. From Nisi all the way up to Mark, they have now gotten more since this graphic was made. Nisi has gone to has gone to fifty thousand. Mark has gone to one hundred and sixty six thousand. He went from this graphic thirty two, then fifty, and now he's at one sixty six because he got Chuck B and got other money across the board. Lorraine, who celebrated the birthday this week, was at one hundred five. Now she's at one fifty five. How do they do this? Step one, they became a member. Step two, they keep on getting sums of money. They don't stop. They may have gotten $200 today, maybe they get $2,000 tomorrow. They keep on pouncing and getting checks. Number three, they're in all the live chats, watching all the videos. 
When L&M was announced, they didn't wait. When E through K was announced, they didn't wait. It's called stimulus stampede because people pounce. That's what we call purple hawks. The expression of purple hawks was created by me to describe the hawks that pounce as soon as money becomes available. You don't want to wait because ultimately the money won't be around. Become a member, purple hawk, purple power, and a Calcino VIP. You ready for check E through K? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Checks E through K are absolutely incredible, and you deserve these sums of money. Again, these are the ones that became law by Act of Congress no less than about a week ago. These incredible checks are just huge. E through K are just incredible, and we're going to go over them in just a second. But let's jump to L and M first. Uh, no, let's do E through K. I found it in my notes. E is the incredible $7,500. F is $4,000. Then G is the whopping 30% off. K is $2,000. I is $8,000. J is $8,000. K is $14,000. My goodness. They're all in the membership newsletter. Pass, A, B, C. E through K are put all, through, get all together. Then L and M are after E through K. And L and M were revealed on the membership newsletter late last week. L is approximately $100,000 on average for a loan interest rate fee, loan interest free, uh, free money for the purchase of a home. My goodness, that's incredible. That's one check, but M, like money, has lots of checks. About $4,000 in closing cost assistance checks when you buy that home, oh my goodness, yes, that's about $104,000. Insane for just L&M. Yes, A through C, about $100,000. E through K, I should add it up. I haven't added up E through K. I think it's uh, about $50,000. And then L through M, that's about $104,000. My goodness, so incredible for you. Go get those incredible checks across the board. I have more commentary about these huge new checks in the big second half in just a second. But first I wanna jump into this discussion that heated up this week. When one of Joe Biden's, uh, ed when one of Joe Biden's economic czars appeared on broadcast media, he said that there is no recession because the unemployment rate that we're experiencing now is the lowest of a generation. Can he get away by saying that? Is that correct economic analysis? No, it's not. In fact, another economist said that midweek. You get away by saying that, by negating the recession with one economic data. I'm going to pull out one economic data and negate the entire definition of recession. You get away with that? No, you don't. A recession is a defined economic term, two negative quarters of GDP growth. We've experienced that. So if you want to disprove that there's a recession, you don't get to disprove it with one economic data point, the unemployment rate. Obviously, 250,000 new jobless claims every week is not a good number. It's not a good number. Other people may say it's a great number or a bland number, but it's not indicative. It doesn't prove or disprove there is a recession. Do I get to use the housing data, which clearly shows there's a recession, to say there is a recession? No, I don't, because that's just one data point. Do I get to show that Target missed after downward guiding from May, June, and July? And are downward and and are downward giving downward guidance for the whole rest of the year. Do I get to say targets an example that we're in a recession? No, I don't get to use one data point to prove or disprove a recession. Whoever really parades that notion out that there is no recession because the unemployment rate is the lowest of generation, that is a false narrative. It is really a false narrative. Because basically you're using one data point to prove an entire story or disprove an entire story. You don't get to do that. <clears throat> Now, let me go back into something very important to cover across the board. Stimulus. Stimulus and your money. You know, this channel launched in April 2020 to cover stories like EIDL, PPP, PUA, uh, and similar instruments across the board. In the case of EIDL, the people, the viewers, had already applied for the EIDL, so they knew how to apply in their mind. And their applications were not getting approved. Some of them were in a vortex, which I was ex expression I joined, going at the time. Basically in a holding mode, not approved, not disapproved, but nothing you know, going on with them. Other people had tried to apply for PPP, were confused where to apply for PPP. In the case of unemployment stimulus, people either had started the application 
and didn't get it finished or had never started it and needs guidance on how to do it. And I showed it on air. What was the same situation on all that? There was some type of error that they had done that was really a basic, basic error that just required a video to say, hi, you made a basic error, go back and fix it. Oh, you're right. What was the error that was very basic in EIDL? Where it said in the application to put in the routing number of a check, not the count number, the routing number of the check. They put the account number in, pretty basic. When it asks for your social security number, they put in, they put in the, the, uh, the tax ID number of the business. It didn't ask for that, it asked for your social security number. Very basic errors. And for unemployment, when it said to go back and certify for ben base uh, benefits every week, they forgot to do that. Very, very basic errors. And when I said, here's how do you do it? They're like, oh, I can't believe I forgot to do it. Very, very basic errors, and they got approved. That's how this channel took off. Where we are right now is some people, and I'm going to say very, very few percentage, I would say less than one percentage point of this channel, are making very, very basic errors. And if you can't see the basicness of the errors, you're going to have a problem going forward. Let's use this graphic as an example. Become a member. People understand that. That's relatively self-explanatory. The next line. Get the newsletter Monday through Friday. Okay, you see those words? Newsletter. Monday through fi Friday. Monday through Friday, newsletter. Those are very, very simple words. Here is the problem that some people are saying, seeing. They're not reading the, that graphic. I say the graphic. I read the graphic. I show the graphic. I say it, you know, 100 times a day. Newsletter, Monday through Friday. Where do I get the checks? In the newsletter. Where do I get the checks? In the newsletter. Where do I apply for the checks? In the newsletter. Or they take, they don't actually say that. They say something totally different. I apply for the applications at the Lobster Shack. <laughs> I apply for the checks at the San Francisco Hairstyle. No, you don't apply at the salon in, in San Francisco. You apply in the newsletter. Really? It says it on the graphic. This is very, very basic. Let's go back to that graphic to understand how basic this is. I'm saying it 100 times a day. I'm showing you the graphic 100 times a day. And it only says it right there. Newsletter. Okay. Then, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is very basic. What time? 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's always someone says, I get a lot of alerts throughout the day. Who cares how many alerts you get? It's only the alert at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Who cares if you get one at 4 o'clock? It's a 7 o'clock one. Then, Pacific Standard Time. I got to tell you, this is perhaps the most basic error that we've ever had on this channel. Really basic error. And it, 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 <laughs> when the viewer realizes they made the error, they laugh with me and I laugh with them because it's very, very basic. Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> you live in New York. Is that Pacific Standard Time? No. You live in uh, in Denver. Is that Pacific Standard Time? No. Uh, uh, Texas, is that Pacific Standard Time? No. I presume, and I think I'm right in presuming because the viewers of this channel are very smart, that you know you're not Pacific Standard Time if you're not Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and if you want to convert it, your phone will do it for you. If you don't know the difference between Pacific Standard Time and East Coast Standard Time, the difference between Pacific Standard Time and Central, your phone will do it. Just hold up your phone and say, what's the difference between Pacific Standard Time and East Coast Standard Time? If you don't even know the question, send me a private message on Facebook. I'll answer for you across the board. This is a very, very basic error. And people who simply don't get that basic error are never getting out the gates. They're never getting out the gates for the stimulus uh, race around the tracks. You got to understand very, very basic things could really prevent you from ever getting out the gates in the stimulus stampede. Let's go back to that graphic across the board. The next item at issue for the graphic is that um, the next words, which is uh, these words. YouTube alerts. Via the YouTube alerts. Via the YouTube alerts. Now, how can you mess up that one? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's some way that people are messing that one up as well. YouTube alerts. YouTube alerts. The LA alerts. No, the YouTube alerts. I even have a graphic. I even have a video for this. I even have a. Uh, <laughs> I even have a uh, an imagery. 
the YouTube alerts. Let's look at those YouTube alerts. I actually show it on air. I mean, as if it could not be any clearer, I actually show it on air. What are the YouTube alerts? The YouTube alerts are sent by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called the YouTube Alert. The LA Newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh my goodness, I'm actually showing it there. Are you watching? Oh no, you're not. You're cooking bacon. Watch it. It's shown on air via the YouTube Alerts. Now, this is not the LA Late Alerts. Is the YouTube Alert? The YouTube Alerts are set by sent by YouTube. The LA Late Alerts are sent by LALate.com. You see the difference? The YouTube Alert. Here it is. <laughs> It says it's sent by YouTube. It says YouTube. Uh, and you go down in that alert. Go down the alert. Uh, there it is. That's the YouTube alert sent by YouTube members only. Down past the guy. Down past the guy. Down past the guy. Where it says view post. Click the button and it says view post. Go get that big sums of money. Very, very, very basic newsletter. And I got to tell you, the reason why we're laughing right today is because this is very basic. If you can't understand this level of basicness, because I know you can, if you're ignoring this level of basicness, you're never going to get out the gate. You're never going to get out of the gate. You got checks A to M to apply for. But if you really are not listening when I say 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, do you think you're going to be able to apply for checks A to M? No. Come on. You're clearly understanding this, but clearly not listening at some point. Now, again, this is less than 1% of the viewers of the channel, but I think I still have to say it. I still think I have to say it. And we'll have a laugh about this no left than across the board. Yes, what time zone are lobsters in? I don't know. What time zone are lobster shorts in? No time zone. They're just not popular. They're out of this world. Just, you know, in another galaxy. <laughs> what time zone are San Francisco hairstyles in? Unfortunately, Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> Uh, just like day one of this channel, um, I put my account number in the routing number. Yeah, uh, just like the day one of this channel, I put my uh, social security number where it asks for the tax ID number of the business. Yeah, very, very basic errors. You got to really pay attention to what you're doing. And if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, mm, mm, mm. Join me throughout the day and throughout the night. Programming continues with Evenings Countdown every night at 6 o'clock. Evenings Street and Stimulus at 7 o'clock. Evenings Extra at 8 o'clock. Brand new show every night on 5 o'clock's edition of Evenings LA. And of course, jump into the live show LA Late Live on this channel throughout the weekend and throughout the night. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Become a member. <laughs> Should I show the graphic again? Yeah, maybe I will. Again, here is the graphic again. Become a member. Get that newsletter uh, Monday through Friday. You know, 20 hours uh, Eastern Santa time. <laughs> Delivered via the lobster alert. Yeah, you're going to not hear me again. <laughs> stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful night, and stay with Alight for more.